Hi guys, so as you might have seen lately, Sonu Bates have had a new product launch this spring and it's been a good product launch to be fair, a lot of new products that have been out, they're out actually in shops now. The main product that I'd say is the uh, Power Scope X is now out on sale, which is obviously those of you that will use Scope X, it's been around years, lovely smelling flavour it is and it's got great addition to the range so it's available in quite a lot of the, the products including ground bait, we've got in bait boost, one to one paste, haze, as well as abandoned sinkers and wafters. So Sonu Bates have actually sent me one of each product. I'm going to be out on the bank of it, but I'm going to give you a quick run through what it is available now in shops. Start over here. So as I said, they've got the power scope X in the one to one paste. So the one to one paste, dead easy to use. You put one part powder to one part water, Mix it together, leave it half hour, job done. Paste is one of them devastating methods that can be really good and produce a lot of fish. But people shy away from it a little bit just because it can be tricky to get right. If you get it too soft, it comes off too hard, you don't, it bites. So if you follow the guidelines one to one, it'll be mega for you. This actually comes with a little pot as well. So you get a free paste pot in there. Comes in a number of different flavours, but the ones that have just been released are the, obviously the Power Scope X got a chocolate orange and a banoffee. The hardest part about deciding what to do with these is picking the flavour. They all smell lovely, all catch fish, it's down to you to decide. Moving on from that, so we've got the So Natural range. This is a range that I actually use on all my canal and river fishing. So I have used this many years now, the So Natural range. And the Sweet Skimmer is just a new addition to that range. If you smell this, you won't use any other ground, but it smells delicious. We're actually involved in the stages of this, getting it to like the consumption that it is now. And I've caught loads of fish on it. it, smells beautiful, and I'll be catching a load of fish on that this summer and winter as well, to be fair. Moving on from that, we've got the Thatcher's Green. So as you've probably seen, Sonu Bates brought the original Thatcher's recipe, very popular recipe last year. We saw loads of Thatcher's original, Thatcher's dart, I use loads myself, caught a lot of fish on it. But some people like the green, so they've listened and actually brought out a green version of it, which I'm guessing that'll be a popular one. Moving on, we've got the Bandon wafters and the sinkers. These are all available already, but these are now in the power scope X, so they're doing them in a 6, 8 and 10 mils. 6 mils, there's some red ones in there, great for dobbing, 8 mils, same again. The, the red ones and as well as on like a little method, catch loads of fish on them. The 10 mils I personally use myself in little solid bags when I'm cart fishing as well, caught a load of fish on them. Nice yellow visible bait or a red one, mix of both, great. This one, so the Power Scope X in the Super Crush, this will actually be coming with me tomorrow so I'll catch some fish on this and give you a little write up on it. Lovely smelling ground bait. Be perfect, a bit like crushed expander, probably a little bit heavier, but for like them far bank and mud lines catching great big F ones, they won't be able to resist that. So I'm looking forward to using that one in my fishing, as well as uh, the krill and squid. So I was a fan of the chunky fish ground bait, used to mix it with my match method, but I think this one's just probably a bit more pungent, quite heavy as well. So when you're big potting down them margins late on in session for great big wobbly carp. Put a bit of that in, dead smelly, dead fishy, attracts your fishing and away you go. Moving across to these, so we've got the haze and the power, uh, bait booster in the power scope X. So a bit of flavour and colour amongst them. And then to finish it off, banoffee corn. So I am a big fan of the F1 corn, but I will be giving this one a try. Can't really say what it is yet, but if you follow this page, I'll obviously, I'll be out on the bank using these products. I'll be putting some more videos on, letting you know how I get on, especially the pace. I'm going to have a good go on that this year. Catch loads of big fish. Hope you've enjoyed the insight to the products and I'll bring you plenty more videos. So like and subscribe and I'll see you later.